Lisa Kelly made history in 2009 when she became the first woman to compete on Ice Road Truckers, a show about drivers racing on snow and ice. Even if her fans were doubtful at first, Lisa's perseverance and charisma soon won them over. Here's the ice. to like punch it, to like get off of what's breaking behind you, but that's like the worst thing to do on ice is punch it. She was so amazing as a trucker and a fan favorite that she became an indelible part of the Deadliest Road spinoff. Since the show's 2017 finale, fans have been dying to see Lisa again. And with good reason, she has an enormous fan base. Here you can find all the information you need on Lisa Kelly's life after her ice road days. We have all the details on Lisa's life, including whether or not she met a tragic end, which some people may be wondering. How about we go right into Lisa Kelly's exciting story? Lisa Kelly's pursuit started in her birthplace of Michigan, but she ultimately found her home in Alaska. She was six years old when her family relocated to Alaska, and ever since then, the stunning scenery and rough culture of the state have been an essential part of her childhood. Lisa and her family had a modest existence in Sterling, Alaska, while she was growing up. Even though they had to go to a different town to get food, they treasured the peace and quiet of life on the farm. Lisa never felt pressured to continue in the healthcare industry as her parents did, which adds an intriguing twist to her narrative. She chose to go on an adventure of self-discovery instead, intent on discovering what she was really passionate about. Lisa got a part-time job at a gas station so she could follow her passion. Her job description called for her to do everything from serving customers as a cashier to pumping propane and preparing espressos. She was able to broaden her horizons in her career and personal life via this varied experience which prepared her for what was to come. When the time came for her to return to her home state of Michigan and enroll in college, she had no idea that her life would soon take a dramatic twist. To put it mildly, Lisa Kelly's time at university was somewhat short when she was first starting out. She made a life-altering choice after enrolling at Cornerstone University, but then deciding it wasn't the correct match. She opted to quit university after just one semester, marking a turning point in her life. At first, Lisa's intention upon getting back to Alaska was to enroll in a specialized school in a different location. Nevertheless, she has diligently concealed her particular area of study throughout that period. What is known is that her life was changed by an intervening twist of destiny. She changed her mind and stayed in Alaska because of a developing love connection. Love came into Lisa's life unanticipatedly, yet it became an influential force. She was on a mission to locate respectable work in order to sustain herself and her boyfriend. Along the way, she worked her way up the ladder, beginning with a pizza delivery job. She had no idea that this was the beginning of her journey toward her life's purpose. Changing careers to become a bakery van driver was a major turning point in her professional life. On the other hand, Lisa had loftier ambitions and knew she wanted to pilot a much bigger vessel. She recommitted herself wholeheartedly to the goal of becoming a school bus driver, where she hoped to get practical experience and eventually her Class B license. Lisa's relentless pursuit of her dream of becoming a truck driver kept her moving ahead. Still, she had to keep trying until she found a trucking job, even if her first efforts were unsuccessful. After much perseverance, she was able to get a job with Carlisle Transportation, a local business. Even back then, Lisa had to deal with the fact that she didn't have the necessary expertise to drive a corporate vehicle right away. Rather, she was back in the driver's seat of a van, but this time, it had a purpose. Eventually, the corporation let her use their vehicles for practice, which was a great chance for her training. Focused on what was to come, Lisa kept working to improve her abilities. Her perseverance was rewarded when she obtained her CDL, which ushered in her career as a truck driver. The Ice Road Truckers episodes in which she appear. Lisa Kelly broke barriers in 2009 when she became the show's first female cast member during the third season of Ice Road Truckers. Over the course of many seasons, she made an indelible mark on the program. She was a regular until the fourth season ended, then took a year off. She came back for the seventh season and stayed till the program ended in 2017. Looking back, Lisa's foray into television was surprising. 
considering her early participation with the program. Out of the blue, her employer at Carlisle Transportation asked her if she would be interested in appearing on television. Lisa signed a deal with History Channel. Despite her lack of knowledge about the show's subject matter, she seized the chance anyway. But there are details about Lisa's time on the program that viewers could miss. As she so openly put it, she was recruited on board mostly for her good looks. Although Lisa wasn't exactly thrilled to be cast in this part, she approached it with a sense of adventure rather than resignation. To her, it had always seemed like she was nothing more than a gorgeous face. Even though Lisa proved herself to be an expert truck driver on the program, she was unhappy with how the audience saw her character portrayed. A difference from her usual independence in ice trucking was the feeling of being watched continuously and the constraints imposed on her while she worked. She went even further, thinking her representation had an underlying message. According to her, because I had blonde hair, they were kind of, let's play the dumb blonde character. Despite her conflicting sentiments about her experience on the program, Lisa's commitment to her profession earned her a spot in the second season of the Deadliest Road spin-off. This chance cemented her position as a beloved Ice Road Truckers truck driver, among the franchise's most recognized characters. My Own Life Despite Lisa Kelly's reputation for keeping private matters out of the spotlight, she has revealed some fascinating information about her romantic life and everyday hobbies. After secretly marrying Travis Kelly in 2008, Lisa finally came clean about their relationship in 2014. They met in 2004 when Lisa was shopping for a Kawasaki motorcycle, and their love story began with a mutual love of motocross. Despite the fact that they did not exchange contact details on their first meeting, Destiny seems to have other intentions. Their paths met once again during a racing event, and this time, fate decided their fate. After dating for a while, their bond became more serious, and four years later, they married the marriage. You may be asking whether Lisa's decision to remain in Alaska after graduating from college was because of Travis. Even though they haven't spoken anything about it, it's likely that Travis is the one who pushed her to remain in Alaska given when these things happened and how long they were together. How Lisa keeps her marriage strong despite working long hours is a subject that people often ask her. You can tell how strong their bond is by her reaction. Although she travels for many months each year, Travis remains a plumber in Alaska and is said to be a very understanding spouse. Their marriage seems to be thriving despite her demanding job pursuits, thanks to their understanding and harmony. Lisa Kelly has an adventurous attitude shown by her varied variety of pastimes, which includes her enthusiasm for trucking. She has shown her competence as a bike racer, enjoys hang gliding, and is a passionate snowboarder. There are a number of feathery and furry pals who call Lisa's home, attesting to her obvious affinity for animals. She has a full-sized horse named Skye and a little horse called Skye in her modest barn. Lisa is not just concerned with her own pets, but also with the rescue of horses, especially those in need. As an example of her dedication to animal welfare, she often helps those who are unable to care for or treat their horses. As she filmed Deadliest Roads in India, Lisa's kind spirit reached out to a neighborhood dog. With the hope of providing him with a better life, she took in a puppy from India via adoption. Although she was unable to return the puppy to the U.S. because of her apartment living conditions, her producer brought him to Hollywood and made sure he got a good home. Lisa has a profound concern for the welfare of animals in need, as seen by her commitment to animal rescue. She has rescued a cat in Canada and a puppy in Peru. Given the perilous nature of Lisa Kelly's occupation, it is not surprising to see Google searches with permutations of the term dead linked to her name, since celebrity death rumors are known to spread more often than one would think. But let it be known that these reports about Lisa Kelly's death are just that, rumors. The former reality TV star's mystery death made headlines in her own nation, as some people confused her with a lady from the UK who had the same name. The misunderstanding between these two people is puzzling, particularly when you consider that they are from different nations and have different histories. 
But it's important to stress that Lisa Kelly, who starred in Ice Road Trucker before, is still very much alive and well, and is following her passions and profession. Following the tragic events of the previous year, viewers were left to wonder why Lisa Kelly had left Ice Road Truckers for season six. Neither she nor anybody associated with the program had addressed the reasons for her absence. Further shrouding in mystery is the removal of her picture and bio from the show's homepage. Some news sources implied that Lisa's mental and emotional health had suffered due to the intense scrutiny of her profession and personal life, as well as her continual appearance on camera. Maybe she decided to step away from the program because she was tired of dealing with the pressures of being famous. Reportedly giving Lisa the much needed break and rejuvenation, her first absence was one of her most notable withdrawals from the series. Eventually, she made a triumphant comeback for season seven, and she continued to make cameo appearances throughout the rest of the series until season 11. Daryl Ward, who starred in Ice Road Truckers and was a fellow ice trucker, hired Lisa Kelly to work for his new firm in season nine. Daryl Ward was the pilot of a jet that tragically crashed in 2016, killing him at the age of 52. The future of Daryl Ward Trucking Company and Lisa Kelly became uncertain as a result of this incident. Lisa has been mum on the subject of the company's demise, and the internet is mostly silent on the subject as well. It's reasonable to think that their trucking firm has gone out of business, maybe due to Ward's premature death. During conversations around Daryl Ward's death, Lisa Kelly voiced concerns about her capacity to manage the firm alone. These concerns may have played a role in the 2014 decision to close the doors. Lisa Kelly's involvement with the Ice Road Truckers franchise was further expanded when she appeared in the Ice Road Truckers Canada spin-off series. After Ice Road Truckers ended in 2017, Lisa Kelly and several of the other stars disappeared from public view. After making an indelible mark on the program and its audience in 84 episodes, Lisa had left her mark on the show at that point. Who decided to scrap Ice Road Truckers? No one really knows why the History Channel decided to end the long-running series Ice Road Truckers in 2017. Throughout its 10-year existence, the program maintained continuously constant ratings. Its viewership increased from 8.3 in the first season to 8.6 in the last. It would seem that poor viewership was not an issue, given the show's stable numbers but fans and industry insiders are speculating that network management made the choice to discontinue the series. When seasoned truck driver Alex Debogorski voiced his displeasure with the creation of Ice Road Truckers on his Facebook fan page, a convincing fan hypothesis began to gather momentum. His online writing suggests that he and his fellow truckers were led to assume the program had been canceled after months of no communication from the production crew. Despite being in touch with the History Channel, Lisa Kelly said in an August 2019 interview with the Great American Trucking Program that no deal had been made at that time about her appearance in another season of the program. Despite how implausible it seems that Ice Road Truckers will return for a second season, the program deserves praise for improving public opinion of truckers and illuminating the relevance and difficulties of their work. Who or what is Lisa Kelly up to now? The 11 seasons of Ice Road Truckers proved that the show was a smashing success. As a result of localization efforts, the program was able to reach audiences in a wide variety of nations with millions of viewers in the U.S. alone. Despite their enormous fame, the truckers on the show, like Lisa Kelly, lived regular lives devoid of the extravagant lifestyles typical of reality TV stars. There has been little change to Lisa Kelly's lifestyle since her days on the program. She keeps her job as a truck driver all year round, albeit the amount of work she has to do changes with the seasons and the vehicles that are available to her. Lisa told Trucker News in 2019 that she helps out a buddy with his trucking firm and steps in for other drivers when they're sick or otherwise unavailable for the most of the year. Though she only does it in the winter, her passion for ice trucking never fades and is still her favorite aspect of the work. Participation in several trucking exhibits around North America is an interesting part of Lisa's life after the show. 
She may meet her social media followers in person and chat with longtime Ice Road Truckers fans at these events. Her Instagram and Facebook pages aren't updated very often, but her fans love the opportunity to chat with her during her shows. Ice Road Truckers propelled Lisa Kelly to stardom despite her modest and laid-back nature. Because of her prominence, she has been featured in many ads for Chevron, a well-known brand in the transportation sector. Thanks to these chances, she has been able to visit several regions of North America and engage with fans at events like Diesel Fest and the Great American Truck Show. Lisa continues to participate with the trucking community by actively supporting websites devoted to them on her Facebook page. In addition, she sells branded items such as t-shirts and hats via her own eBay store. Although Ice Road Drivers has been off the air for a while, her goods tends to sell out fast, which is a good sign that fans still have a soft spot for the program and its drivers. This show's longevity is a testament to the impression Lisa and the other truckers have had on their audience. Salary expectations for reality TV stars are notoriously high and low in relation to their net wealth. When it comes to her early earnings from television, Lisa Kelly had a rather unusual experience. Lisa said that the History Channel did not pay her during the first two seasons of Ice Road Truckers. Instead, she brought up the fact that her trucking firm was offering her incentives to keep appearing on the program. It is generally assumed that her compensation was quite low, however, the exact amount is unknown. Regular drivers in the trucking industry may expect yearly incomes well over $50,000, a testament to the security of the job. But because to the special difficulties they encounter, Ice Road Truckers often work seasonal shifts and may make more than $40,000 a year. Lisa Kelly's revenue comes from a variety of sources, including her television work, endorsement deals, and item sales. Fans are happy to buy t-shirts and hats featuring her name, so she has made good use of her fame. The continuous success of Ice Road Truckers and its adored characters is evident from the fact that these item sales are in great demand and often sell out. Lisa Kelly has an astonishing net worth of half a million dollars right now, according to estimates. When Lisa Kelly made her 2007 Ice Road Truckers debut, the press and viewers were both skeptical and intrigued by her appearance. Her stunning good looks were front and center from the start, garnering her accolades like Sexiest Trucker Alive from Esquire. But eventually, people got beyond Lisa's surface level and started appreciating her for the hard worker and expert truck driver that she is. Almost one million people follow her on Facebook, so it's obvious that her supporters are still very dedicated to her even after the program ended. Lisa Kelly has had an incalculable influence on people's lives, and their steadfast support is confirmation of that. Our video for today comes to a close. Is there anything else in Ice Road Truckers that stands out to you? Or has Lisa Kelly's tale impacted you? Post your opinions and anecdotes in the space provided. Please show your support by subscribing and giving this content a like. Thank you for coming today. The following video will be our meeting place. Bye.